Right, so if we take you through the amplifier, we've got here the LED which indicates whether it's in light on or dark on mode. We can change that by pressing the L or D button here. We've got a mode button to move into some advanced functions. An up and down button for the threshold setting. And at the end here, you'll see the output indicator. The white numbers indicate how much light is returning to the amplifier and the green numbers is where is the uh, switch point. So in, in this case we've got light on with a reflective fibre. Once it receives more than 128 units of light the sensor will turn on. So one of the features about this amplifier is it can automatically tune how much power it, it outputs. So in this case we want to see the blue mark on the white background and you'll see the white numbers here tell us that the amplifier is receiving a maximum value in both cases so we won't be able to set a switch point. However, if we tell the amplifier this is one condition, this is the second condition, it will automatically turn its LED down. So you can see we now have a signal on the blue stripe, no signal on the white background. That's one of the great features about this amplifier. You can use it at a very short distance or at a very long distance. So we've just tuned the amplifier to see at a very short distance and now it basically won't see this box because we're working at a much longer distance. I don't have to change any settings in the amplifier. Just tell it there's the box. There's nothing. And you'll see it's retuned its power. We're now up to a good high value on the box and next to nothing on the background. So two presses of the button can see our box or can see our registration mark very close up. So as well as sensing at short distances and long distances, we can also see very small objects. What I've got here is just one wire from another sensor and if we get this fibre optic, you can see the amplifier switches quite easily sees that and in fact it goes to the maximum value of 9,999. Right, so for the final demonstration I'm going to need to make a few settings in the amplifier. What we're going to do is we're going to pass an object at very high speed through the beam. So if I enter the mode, I'm going to go to the where it says giga here. This is this is how powerful the amplifier is in its original state. I'm going to change this to super high speed mode. I'm then going to go to the timer function and I'm going to give it a one shot timer of 500 milliseconds just so we can actually see what the uh, sensor is doing. So I'll jump back out of the menu and now we're set and ready for action. Okay, so we're now ready for the high speed test and I've brought up Craig from our warehouse to assist me with this. So uh, Craig, if you could just hold the fiber optic sensor. Thank you. And uh, what I've got is this uh, antique Chinese air rifle, which I'm going to load and shoot through the beam, thus proving the very high speed nature of the sensor. So, you ready Craig? Let's go. Uh, hold it to one side Craig. Uh, uh, right, slight change of plan. What we're going to do, we're going to get the sensor and we're going to use uh, this clamp um, as a, a safer option. So, uh, thank you for your assistance Craig. That's okay. Thank you. So, the reason we've put on the one shot timer is because we're going to pass an object very, very fast in front of the sensor. Um, the light on the sensor uh, would just appear as a very brief flash. By putting in the one-shot timer, we're using a separate LED here to show us that something has passed through the sensor beam. Uh, 